Say, Mr. Wizard, aren't the candles supposed to be burnt out by now? Well, you'd think so because they're burning down to the level of the water. You'd think the water would put them out. <laughs> but th think about this, Ben. As the candle burns, it uses up some of the wax in the candle. So it's going to float a little higher. In other words, mm -hmm. the candle keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter as it floats on the surface of the water. So it'll burn into practically nothing. See this one over here? Yes. It's been burning for 15 minutes and it still isn't out. Whoa. The secret is to get the candle to float upright. Oh. And here's how I did it with, with mine. You want to light the candle over there first? Okay. Okay, here, I'll take the match and put it in my... What I'm going to do is to heat a um, pin. Now, you can use tacks, some tacks, or regular tacks, uh, all kinds of various uh, weights, usually that you can hold in the candle flame to get it nice and hot, mm -hmm. and then put it over in the candle and stick it through it like that and hold it to, until the candle wax solidifies again, and, and it'll hold the pin in place. Okay. Like that, see? Let's say you can use thumbtacks or various other things. I found it takes about three of them to hold a candle about that size. Okay. Then put it, I'll move this one out of the way so you can see. Okay, I just put that one out. Now, when you put it down in the water, you try to not let the wick get wet. Okay? Okay. Here, take match and see if you can light my new floating candle. There you go. Now, so you understand the secret. If you want to have a centerpiece or something on a birthday party in which mm -hmm. you can sort of astound everybody with floating candles that don't go out, weight them with pins or tacks or something at the bottom so they float upright and you can have floating candles. That's great. Thank you.